Oh, crappie. Ooh, nice black crap. Good morning, y'all. It's a little chilly. Well, today we are at a place that I have never been to. There's not many places around here that I have not been to, but this is one of them. We are we are at the Brazos River, and I've heard there's some good crappie in this area, but I've never come down to do it. And uh, now that I live a little closer over here, I figured why not? So I got up this morning, kind of made a last second call to come over here, but we're gonna see if it, if it pans out, if it's worth it. It's really pretty over here, I will say that, so. Let me, uh, let me get my shoes back on, get this boat launched and get in the water, see what we can find. All right, so don't know if there's gonna be anything here, but let's go this way. You're gonna find out pretty quick. Definitely some brush right here. Brush right here. Kind of looks like it's got some fish too. Oh, got him! Oh yeah, nice crappie. Heck yeah, that was a crappie sitting there. Sweet. That is the first Brazos River crappie I've caught here. It's a nice one. We're going to throw him in here and see what we end up with. Okay. Might have been the only one on that one. Well, we're off to a good start, though. Let's go look around a little bit. We got one skunk off the boat already, which is good. Um, let's go. We're going to put this uh, side imaging right here to use um, and see if we can find some fish. I've never been here before, like I said, so I have no idea um, what to look for. So we're going to come through here and scan. It looks to me like we're going to have no shortage of brush, so... It's always good, so I'm just gonna put side scan on. We're just gonna come through here and scan. Clean this image is there's a there's a lay down right in the middle of those rocks, and you can see it really clearly. I'm really impressed with that. Uh oh. There is a bunch of brush right there. Holy moly. Is it part of this tree? What is it? I can't really tell if it's got anything on it, but it is some of the better looking brush I've seen. Or something. Oh, that is a big crappie. <laughs> oh, I think that might be a record for me. Record smallest right there. What do y'all think? <laughs> Dang. That's not good. <laughs> this can't be the only tree like this down through here. See right here, this bank gets dug out pretty good. There's gotta be more brush down through here. 
Problem is, I just haven't really seen anything that just looks loaded up. Okay, this one maybe. Maybe he's got some fish. I can't tell. It's so hard to tell for some reason today. There's something. Oh, crappie. Ooh, nice black crappie. Okay. That's interesting. It's a good black crappie. Oof. I will take it. Funny, so I caught that one kind of pitching out there a little bit. I really didn't see much out there. Thought I saw some, but it's really hard to tell. Maybe they're just a little shallower than I'm thinking they are. Okay, well, I guess that's all from that one. It's not, it's definitely, there's something to write through here. Just gonna have to find somewhere they're they're loaded up on. You can see potential for sure. Probably just like everything, you know, just the right day or right conditions. Oh, got him! But he's gonna get me hung up. I knew that was a chance that was gonna happen. He bit it, but he got me hung up. Hitting hung and he's off. <clears throat> Dang. That's part of it. I knew that was a chance on that one because he was right underneath that limb. Well, y'all, you win some, you lose some. That one I could see was right underneath that limb, and I knew if I got if I got a chance to, to hook them, I was going to get them out of there pretty quick, but unfortunately, that one won. But that is how it goes. I'm gonna put another jig on real quick and then we're gonna drop back down. I feel like little by little we're getting pieces put together. So I'm starting to see more and more fish, I think. I'm just gonna have to hunt them down. Some shad flipping right here. I can see potential here. Like I said, this is my first time ever here. And I like what I see for sure. I just can tell I didn't, like the conditions just quite aren't 100% like they need to be, but. You just never know until you go, right? Okay. It's pretty clean down some of these stretches. I mean, surprisingly, as much stuff that's fallen in the water right here, a lot of it hasn't made it out very far. I think, I think this current just gets so fast that it just sweeps them out of here before they can really get pushed out here. But I'm definitely surprised there's not more cover out past a certain little distance from the bank. It's pretty clean which also would be kind of a good thing because you'd think that the one thing you found, like the one thing back there, would just be loaded up with them, but it's not. So it's interesting. You can see where all these chunks of land just keep falling in when the, the river erodes all this. We're gonna come down through here a little bit. We're gonna go back that way. I'm not seeing as much brush over here. Look at that big old oak tree right there laid in the water. And so far, from what I can tell, they're not really on the rocks. Let's see the root ball right here. There's a tree right here. I don't know. It's just it's really difficult. I've been saying that because it's true. I don't know why, but it just it doesn't look... It's hard to see these guys today. 
I apologize for my squeaky uh, transducer thing right here. It's really gotten squeaky and I need to go ahead and oil it. I got that one. Nice. Oh my goodness. Whew. Check out that slab. Whew. Look at that guy. Biggin. Big fish. On the end of that lay down. They are surprisingly shallow. This one was on Galaxy. Fish liked it. It's been working pretty well for me lately. Mm -hmm. Hog right there. This guy just keeps going back and forth, back and forth. We catch this on the right day. Oof. When the conditions are right, I bet you can catch some fish. I don't know, I almost feel like this water might be a little dirty. I think it's been stirred up more than I think it has. Cause there's junk all in the water right here. That's the only thing that I don't think is really lining up. It's a little muddy. It's not bad though, but another rock right here. There's like a little dip in between those rocks. Huh. Alright y'all, so kind of done with this area. I'm just not feeling it. So we're going to make a little run and see what else we can find. Let's go. Looking down through this bank right here. I'm surprised this land's not developed. Big pecan trees. I'm using the live scope to look just because I can see a little more detail. And all I've been seeing are kind of onesie twosie fish. Nothing real, real crazy. Still hear a plane back there. Don't know how far left to look. I've got to squeak this, or fix this squeak. Squeak this. Can't even talk, apparently. Some shad flipping. That's always, always, always good. Mm, there's something. Oh. Uh, yeah, that looks kind of interesting. Definitely some. Looks like there might be some fish here. It's like a big old log or something. Right here. Golly, I'm not deep at all. <laughs> Whoops. Honestly, I just can't see myself. Oh, yeah, I see some sitting right under this log, whatever this is. More shad. Got one. Oh, nice one. Awesome. That's so weird. They're just kind of sitting on the bottom right there. God, look how bleached out these fish are. So the water's kind of got a little, little stain to it, but that's why these fish are so bleached out. But it's a solid one. I just was kind of just letting the jig drag on the bottom right there. I'm sitting on top of that big log right there. Yeah. 
I picked that one off sitting on top of that. Oh, nice one. Yes. I don't know if y'all saw that, but there was a little bitty. This guy was sitting right on top of a log. And I pitched out there and I got lucky, I'll be honest. I got lucky. And put it right on him. He did it. Awesome. I mean, we're not like... We're not tearing it up by any means, but... What we're catching is pretty good size. I have to admit, the size is pretty impressive. I saw another one swimming around, but I lost him. Oh, there he is. There he is. I don't think that's a crappie. Oh, it is. Oh, nope, it's not either. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it is a crappie. Look at that. Oh, hog. I almost thought that was not a crappie. Oh, my goodness. Galaxy, getting it done. Wow. Make sure this thing is... Okay, this thing sometimes doesn't want to record. So we ended up with, I think we got six right here. I'm about to let them go. This guy right here at the ramp doesn't want them. So I'm just gonna let them go. I don't want to clean just six, but really, really good day. here and we're gonna go let them all go good thing about this time of year is these fish live really good but not bad if y'all could subscribe hit the notification bell that way every time i post you guys get notified hope y'all enjoyed uh, rivers have a lot of crappie in them this time of year if your lake has a river connected to it you better get in there and check because there's probably some good fish like this in there so thanks everyone there's ways to support me, uh, link down in the description. Uh, jigs, lake breakdowns, anything like that. So just let me know. I'm gonna go let these fish go. Y'all have a great day and thanks so much for watching.